One of our great problems there, of course, was uh, going into Red Square. You had to change trains, and the only way we could work it out, not reading the language, it looked something like typewriter <laughs> chair at the station, didn't it, where we had to get off. Are you going to have problems with the language there, do you think? Oh, I sincerely hope not. If I do, I won't be taking the underground. I'll go by bus. Good. I noticed the, uh, the, the, the chap there, when he was talking about it, said the involvement of the people of Sarajevo, Sandy. Uh, how involved are they? Are they involved financially at all? Have yes, they got right behind it? They have been, Bill. In fact, 96% of the population have put in the equivalent of, from their wages, $10 a week for really? the past number of weeks. And when he mentioned that at a cost of $135 million, the original budget was $160 million. So at the moment, they are well under it. Right. Um, I also noticed in some of the reports that uh, there are over 2,500 miles of cable have been laid and over 900 people from ABC in America who uh, will be sharing their pictures, of course, right. on a lot of occasions, uh, have been over there for many months. And, of course, they'd have to lay a lot of these cables before the snow came That's down. Right. They? Well, they haven't had a lot of snow. There's been a lot of varying reports, Bill, about snow. In fact, there was one alarming report from Sydney suggesting that uh, the games may be postponed, but that's not the case at all. They were officially opened three days ago, and on that particular day it snowed and started snowing heavily. So conditions are just right at the moment. Now, Stephen Lee is one of the people that we'll be looking forward to at least give uh, a reasonably good uh, sight mm. for Australia. Yes, I spoke to his father on Friday, Mr Bob Lee, and he is very, very confident. Stephen hasn't been out here for the last few years. He hasn't seen an Australian summer for the past few years, but he finished 10th in a world championship, and that really did stun the Europeans because the Swiss and the Austrians, they, as far as they're concerned, are, are unbeatable. Stephen, though, has been training with the Swiss, and just to give people an idea of how good a talent this young boy is, the Swiss team recently asked him to leave the team because he was making the Swiss boys look like also-rans. Really? So he's had to switch over now and join the German team, who are not as strong, but I'm sure he'll give a very good account of himself. That, that's very exciting news for Australia, really, well, isn't it? Is. I think people don't realise, uh, and particularly the other thing, Bill, if Stephen Lee does get a medal, it's probably a bit like um, a Russian weightlifter coming out and playing on a wing for Carlton in the Premiership side. I thought they had two already. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, are the, what are going to be the most exciting as far as you're concerned? Well, uh, from, I'm looking at it now from a viewer's point of view. Well, I think, you know, the family generally loves to sit back and watch all snow sports, uh, the ice skating because of its elegance, the downhill is the Blue Ribbon event. Mm. Uh, it's like the 100 metres in the Summer Olympics. So the downhill is going to be exciting. And because of that element of risk and the element of danger, the luge and the bobsled are going to be marvellous as well. And then, of course, you've got the ski jumps. They've all got their own fascination. Well, it's one of the interesting things about it, I believe, on the final day after the uh, ceremony, that uh, all the... Um uh, visiting commentators are going to get into the bathtubs and they're going to send them down the loose. <laughs> well, look, I've got news. I could be coming home a day early. <laughs> oh, could you? OK, well, Sandy, we know you're going to do a great job for us and we're looking forward to all the excitement that, that you'll be bringing for us uh, from February the 8th. Thank Certainly you, Bill. Are, Bill. And we've got two of those at home. Two of what at home? Losers. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got seat warmers on them too, Bill. They good. He hasn't changed a bit, has he? No. Not a bit. Anyway, it'll be a great... Uh, a great uh, uh, Nine cent a time or from the eighth to how long does it go for? Eighth to the twentieth, three and a half. Well, that's twelve days. It'll be fantastic. I'm quite sure that you'll make us proud, uh, Sandy, because it'll be a great show. Thank you, Lord. We're looking forward. Would you like you to take a bottle of champagne from uh, Thomas Hardy to have a celebration after the games, or not before the games? And there's the chockies you want at the entertainment <laughs> in Valentine. <laughs> Subtle as a step. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> of course we'd love you to have this uh, magnificent Exacto uh, uh, Olympic uh, T-shirt. It's a size 22, it's Uncle Doug, but you can wear it as a 92 when you get cold there <laughs> for night time. Well, old Master Van Lee hasn't changed. Thank no, you, Luke. No. Well, one thing about it, slightly different from uh, Russia, you don't have to take bath plugs, soap <laughs> or toilet paper. Good luck, Sandy, and Thanks, uh, we'll, we'll look forward to your telegram.